Welcome to Calculus Methods. Now previously, we've looked extensively at differentiation from first principles, and we've also now observed a much faster way of differentiating. In this lecture, we're now going to take our faster method and we're actually going to start looking at some, uh, some application of differentiation. So, we're going to go over the differentiation basics today. We'll look at the standard method of differentiation, which is the faster method that we've just spoken about, and we'll practice it with a few more questions. And then we're going to move on to more exciting bits, which are the applications of it. So we're going to look at gradients um, of a particular point on a curve, how to find equations of tangents, how to find equations of normals. And again, this is really useful for courses like medicine, where you're actually looking at gradients of curves so that you can work out um, the steepness or the, the speed that things are growing or decaying with. So previously, we have found the gradient of a function like this, 3x squared plus 5x minus 1, using the definition of first principles. We applied the really long formula and came to the final answer where we made delta x or the limit of delta x go to zero. But thankfully to modern calculus, we now have much faster ways of doing this. And we discussed that faster way previously where you bring the power down and multiply it and you decrease the power by one. Remember what we said, that any constants at the end go to zero or they just disappear. As a little recap, we will have a look at the general rule once again. So if you have a function, y equals to x to the power of n, you bring the power down as a multiple of x to the power of n, as we do here, and then you decrease the power by one. So the answer will then be nx to the n minus one. Remember, we've discussed this before just by observation, looking at differentiation from first principles, also, we've done some questions on this, and we've also derived it and proved to ourselves that this is true using differentiation from first principles. And as mathematicians, we like proofs because that shows us that what we're doing is the truth. <laughs>